Another method of dividing polynomials is if you take a polynomial divided by a binomial, um, you can do that by factoring. So I know, the dreaded word, but it is back. So when a polynomial can be factored and common factors can be divided out, write the division as a rational expression and simplify. So we've actually kind of done this before. Um, the other way to write t squared plus 5t plus 4 divided by t plus 4 be to write it like this. So what we can do is we can actually factor the top. The factors of 4 that add up to 5 would be t plus 1 and t plus 4. And then we can get a t plus 4 here on the bottom. The way we can do this is we can cancel out your t plus 4s and your answer is just a t plus 1. Not too bad. Now we can do the same thing here for b. Um, it's going to be the same as dividing this by an r plus 3. So that should actually be a hint. Um, that if you're going to have an r plus 3 on the bottom, you're probably going to have an r plus 3 on top. So since you have this 2 out front though, we do have to multiply 2 times negative 3, which is going to be negative 6. We need factors of negative 6 add up to the 5. So you have negative 1 and 6. Oh hey, there's actually our first one. I'll write out the other factors anyway. That way you can just double check my work. Uh, the only factors that are really going to work would be your 1 and 6. Now that doesn't mean this is x, or sorry, r minus 1 and r plus 6. What that means is this is going to give you your 2r squared. You have to rewrite that. Your 5r becomes a negative r plus a 6r. Then you bring down your negative 3. So it's always good to get this extra practice in. So now you have four terms, we can do this by grouping. So I'm gonna take out an r. Left over, you get two r minus one. And then your second set of parentheses, six r minus three, you can take out a positive three, and you're left with a two r minus one. So when you factor this, right, group everything together, you get an r plus three from your factors out front and then you have a 2r minus one left over. So now we can go into cancel mode, and you're left with just that ugly thing. I don't think that's how it's supposed to look. 2r minus one. So there are your solutions. Uh, that's just another way you can cancel or you can uh, divide fractions by using factoring.